Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to go over a macro that was created to delete other macros. Oh, I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, but let me give you a little background. So at work, we use macros, which is a just a short set of instructions in Visual Basic for applications to kind of help us do our work. Maybe like a year ago, a year or two ago. Well, it's 2016. It's five years ago. Anyway, these two plugins were, were injected into our workflow and it created a real havoc to our existing macros. So if you're familiar with it, um, most of your macros should be just parked under one folder, or under one branch, and this is where all your work, worksheet objects are, you know, and this is where like what you're written. And, uh, Everything you've written is parked under the modules tab. Now we've got these two things right here uh, that kind of embedded these new objects, new modules into every spreadsheet that we open and it creates real problems. So what we're gonna do is just go over how to delete these things. Now you can go into it and delete them one by one you know, but then it's going to be kind of a pain, right? So if you look in the delete BS module, which is the name of this macro, I'm going to put a link to it later somewhere on this video. And uh, if we go over it, it's fairly simple. Before you start using this, you'll have to go to tools and what's it say? Extensibility references. Okay. So you need to enable the Visual Basic for Applications 5.3 application extensibility. This has to be enabled for this macro to work. In essence, what this macro does is once we run it, it's going to just blow through it in like 10 milliseconds. But uh, the object is to go into the DM integration 2016 and then find every standard module and delete it, all of these. And for the class modules, this is what this part will do. It will just go into the class modules and delete this. It's just one line, I guess we could just call it out, but, but then in the second half, which is just a replication of the first half, you're going into this PM PWD moniker, just right here, and it goes into the workbook, activates it, and just delete everything in here. For the class module, deletes everything in here. All right, so let's run it and see what it does. Ooh. And now uh, I could the modules that I create under this branch will, won't be affected by all this BS that was in, in, embedded. Anyway, um, I hope that helps you and it explains the process a little. Alright, thanks for watching.